After we do our throwing, so we get a lot of our throwing done, we go right into a box. And with the box drill, it's four corners, and we work on exchanges and relay cut techniques. Okay, so when the ball is going around the horn, you can work on your basic exchanges, like you're, like you're turning double place. So I catch the ball, I work with my footwork with my exchanges, it goes around that way, we do it as much as we want. We have one hand exchanges too, where I make the guys throw the balls outside, we catch, we bring the ball to the midline, and we exchange. So we work on exchanges that way, then we work on relay and cut techniques. Okay, so when the ball goes around the horn, we step to the ball with our right foot, turn, left side technique, then we step inside. Okay, so all our throwing is done in the box. We can work on relays and cuts. We can work on exchanges. 27 ounce or 21 ounce, okay? For us, 27 ounce, the amount, number of ounce we need to get, okay, to finish the game. So we try to do 27 ounce in a row. So we'll put our defense out there. We'll have one fungal hitter. We have a stopwatch, right, like Coach Meyer was talking about. And we'll create situations. We'll tell them, nobody off. And we'll hit a fungo. And it may be a 5-3, a 6-3 ball in a hole, 3-1, three, three, whatever it may be. They're on a stopwatch. We need to get 27 consecutive outs under 4.3. If they don't, we go back to zero. And we'll stay out there. We talk about an emphasis on defense. We're going to hit when we get to 27 outs. What I would do is, my first one, is, this is home plate. You can see it. What I would do is, I would just lengthen my stride. And, it, and the reason for this is, I, I want to stay close to the plate. I'll do it right-handed because that's, that's how I used to throw. From here, and I would just learn to transfer weight, break, spin and throw. Now the follow through is there, my head's over the front side, and I found that once your head goes, the kid loses everything. Kind of created this mind philosophy is of we're going to be good at three things, and we're going to do those three things better than, um, than our opponents, and we're going to work on these three things every day. And it's strike zone discipline, it's advancing runners without, and it's take and it's and it's keeping goals simple. Side flips. Keep it real simple. I'm gonna read through in yellow. We've got the explanation. Alright? Balls are flipped from roughly a 70 degree angle. When I say 70, if if I was a hitter and I was square at the pitcher, and I was and I was facing somebody flipping to me from the other <coughs> batter's box, I would call that 90. So I'm just offset, you know, 20 degrees. And what I'm basically gonna do is I'm gonna flip it from between his back hip his front hip and what that's going to do for me is it's going to create hitting zones it's going to create a natural hand path all you say is I'm flipping off your back hip you just stay connected on that back side and stay inside the ball that ball is going to go middle back side if I start flipping it towards like his midsection his center line he's going to start getting those balls through the middle of the field with ease and then I'm going to flip some balls out in front and his hand path is going to take him he's just going to drive the ball and what you're going to see is you're going to have guys when you do this drill that aren't creating a big fan. And what I mean by a big fan is, go away, we're diving and reaching out. Pull, and we're pulling hips out, pulling shoulders, and the fan is big. Basically what we're gonna do is, it's gonna be in, middle, out. And it's all gonna happen in a small fan. The, the, your stride and pants, or your, when you go back with your weight um, and your hands, they, they work together, but in opposite directions, okay? So if the foot goes this way, hand go that way. That's what separation is. That's as simple as I can explain it. And what a lot of kids don't do is get their hands back. Take a kid, do a one-handed drill, say, hey, we're gonna just do top hand right now. Well, I promise you, you do a top hand drill, they're not gonna go from right here. Without even thinking about it, they're gonna put their, their hands back here. That should tell them where their hands need to be when it comes to separation.